Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about domain and range of functions. So now that we know how to look at domain and range from a graph, let's move on to finding the domain algebraically. And typically there are two things you're looking for. You're looking for rationals and radicals. With the rationals, you're looking for if there is an x in the denominator. If there is, we want to restrict any values that make the denominator equal to zero. If there is a square root or any other even root, then we need to set the expression greater than or equal to zero because we can't take an even root of a negative number. Of course, both things could happen at the same time, and what that would really switch to is an inequality that is strictly greater than zero instead of greater than or equal to. So let's do a bunch of examples. I'm starting with f of x is 1 over x plus 3. So the only value I need to exclude is when x plus 3 equals 0, which says x is equal to negative 3. So I want to exclude this value. So sometimes in your homework, it'll say something like, what value should be excluded? And you would say exclude negative 3. If instead it says, write the answer in interval notation, you might want to draw just a quick little number line, look at the number negative 3, and think there are numbers on the left, there are numbers on the right. Numbers on the left go negative infinity to negative 3, leave it open, union, negative 3 to infinity. So what we did is we took the number line and we just eliminated this negative 3. So I have two different parts. The second one, I have g of x equals 2x minus 8. I don't have a radical, I don't have a rational, which means the domain is negative infinity to infinity. I can put any number in, multiply by 2, subtract 8. So same kind of thing. Let's look at f of x is x squared plus 3x minus 4. No rational, no radical. The domain is negative infinity to infinity. But g of x, where it's 3 over x plus 5 over x minus 6, I take both of the things in the denominator. So I have just x, I set it equal to 0. x minus 6, I set it equal to 0, which gives me x equals 6. I'm going to draw a little number line. I'm going to put on 0, and then I'll put on 6 also. And I'm thinking I take out that point and I take out that point. So my first interval is negative infinity to zero, which is open. Then my second interval is zero to six. And then the last interval is six to infinity. So I broke up the line with those two points. The next one says I have f of x is eight over the square root of x plus one. Now this time I have both things. I have a rational and I have a radical. So what I'm thinking is this x plus 1 has to be strictly greater than 0. It can't be equal to 0 because it's irrational. It can't be less than 0 because it's a radical. So this says x plus 1 is greater than 0. x is greater than negative 1. So my domain is negative 1 to infinity. Let's try a few more that have radicals. So the first one, f of x is the square root of x plus 10. I say x plus 10 is greater than or equal to 0. x is greater than or equal to negative 10. So this greater than or equal to negative 10 says I have a square bracket. I include negative 10. I go to infinity. The next one, g of x, is the cube root of x plus 6. First thing you do is stop and say, well, 3 is odd. You can take the cube root of a positive or a negative number, which means the domain is all real. So I write negative infinity to infinity.